for women to sit here and wag the finger at guys. You guys do it too. You guys do it too. You guys go to the islands and you guys get with these island boys and sometimes you simp for them and you bring them back and you get finesse. You guys do it too. So you are in no moral high ground. Mm-hmm. Boss. I'm a boss. Big boss. And you know it's real talk. And anyway, like I say, these women, the American, modern American black women, you have no moral high ground. Y'all be going to Jamaica and all the stuff. Like, the whole way I got into traveling, <laughs> roundabout way, is I went to Florida. I went down to Florida. This is years back. So this is a year before I got my passport. I got my passport 2018. We're talking 2017. 2017, I go to Florida for the first time. Fort Lauderdale. But then, of course, you know, I went to Miami and all this stuff, too. Uh, but Fort Lauderdale to see a, a buddy of mine, an ex-co-worker, a uh, guy from the islands. Um, what country? He, he wasn't from Jamaica. I think he was from Barbados, I believe. But he was down there from the Caribbean islands. We worked security together in San Francisco at like a high rise building. But he was into the music game. He was a DJ, uh, what technician, whatnot. And so he had actually uh, composed, you know, some beats and some music that was used in like TV shows or whatnot. You know, he was really trying to break into the music scene. And so he eventually left San Francisco and he moved to Florida so he can um, integrate himself into the uh, music scene in Florida. So about a year or so after we stopped working together, you know, I kept in contact with him. Um, and remember, I, I used to be a rapper. I used to be an MC rapper. I used to be an MC rapper. An MC. That was a long time ago. A long, long time ago. Time ago. Oh, so you was rapping when they were saying, nigga, you was calling niggas sucker MC. Oh, man. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this guy got jokes. I wasn't calling hey. sucker MC, man. I think it was bitch ass niggas. I was <laughs> sucker MC. Damn. Nah, I'm gonna call them sucker MCs, he was man. Calling them sucker MCs. Oh man, you said I was an MC rapper. Right? MC rapper, man. I, I used to be a rapper. I used to be an MC rapper. Um, but he wanted me to come down to uh, Florida and um, check him out and check out his get down and um, his surroundings and, and, and uh, his studio and, and, and meet his music uh, connects and whatnot. So I'm like, why not? So anyway. When I went down to Florida, um, I, I was exposed, you know, I'm a guy who I have never had traveled pretty much. I, well, I went to Nevada I, when I was a kid. I went to Colorado for some stuff, but I never went that far. Basically, I, I, I wasn't a traveler. I never even went that far. I went way to Florida. Right. And I went to Florida. Man, I, I, I just loved it. It was cool. You know, it's different environment, hot palm trees. And I was around a lot of different types of ethnicities, you know, Cubans, Dominicans, um, Haitians, you know, it was lit, you know. And then so he took me around, obviously, to the, to the club scene, the music scenes and all that stuff. So um, it was lit. I, I really had liked that Florida trip. And I was coming back from Florida uh, to Cali. Um, I remember on JetBlue. We offered direct flights to Dominican Republic. So, you know, when I got back, I, I just researched this Dominican Republic. What is Dominican Republic? I heard of that. And I researched it and all the stuff and uh, what was going on there. And I'm like, wow, that's legal? That's legal there? Oh, snap. Um, come to find out, you know, years later that it is prostitution. It, Technically not legal, legal there, but it's just why we find this unacceptable by the authorities and all stuff. But let's rewind. Even though that was the catalyst to me being exposed, getting a travel bug, me flying down to Florida. When I was in 
when I was in Florida, I was seeing a lot of like island type people. I, I seen a lot of the Jamaicans, a lot of Cubans, a lot of Dominicans, and whatnot. When I was in Florida, and uh, I, it had a whole different vibe. Like, mm. so when I was flying back on JetBlue, ding, we offered direct flights to Dominican Republic. I, I said, what? I said, what the hell is a Dominican Republic? So uh, it always stuck in my mind. So when I got back to the town, I just started looking up because now. Even that Florida trip, not just the state, even Florida. That Florida trip put a travel bug in me. I got bit by the travel bug. Even though that was the catalyst to me being exposed, getting a travel bug, me flying down to Florida to meet my, my, my ex coworker who was in the music um, gang, trying to bust into the music industry. Me going to Florida, getting exposed you know, to that heat, the palm trees, all the different um, ethnicities of people, me flying back across country. Going somewhere different. And then going there, it was very hot, the palm trees, interacting with all the people. Like I said, my guy, he's, he was plugged into the music scenes. He took me around to some spot spots, plugged me into people, stuff like that. So I'm out there in, um, in Miami, I'm out there in Fort Lauderdale, you turning up. And so I'm coming back. And so I'm like, mm. so I started looking up Dominican Republic. That's legal? I said, oh man. <laughs> I said what? I said that's legal there, like legal, legal. So then that, that that started my deep dive. Do you know that guy? Um, like I said, he was an American-born citizen. Uh, he was, I want to say, he was Barbados, not Jamaican, but he came to America on a green card shit twice. Oh shit! Oh, shit. You know how he ultimately got to America? craziest thing so in his home country he was uh working in a hotel industry and so a lot of american black women would, would go there and so he would just make it his thing him and all his um homeboys or whatnot from the island they would riz up these american black women you know and of course you know smash them and all the stuff and um you know just give them massages, smash them, talk sweet nothings, you know, and really just get cashed out, you know, you know, whatever. So, but what he would do, his thing was he wanted to get an American black woman to marry him, to bring him to America. And do you know this guy, he did it twice, not once, but twice over the years. I'm like, wow. I said, how did you manage that? You know? But he had got, uh, at first, it was years back, he got an American black woman who would come down to the island, come to his hotel. He kept in contact. You know, they had their little relationship. And he rizzed her up and she got him uh, his green card or whatnot and brought him to America. But something didn't work right. I, I forget, this is years back. And I think, like, they divorced or she divorced him or something before. And, and before like the years it would took to be, be finalized or something. So basically blah, 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 he had to go back. He had to go back to his country. But do you know, lightning struck twice. Wasn't it a, a, just a few short years later, he was able to repeat the process. And this time it stuck. He got him an American black woman, rizzed her up, took a while, but got his green card, came to America. And so that's where I met him. He was working together. And I even met his wife um, at a company party one time, a company Christmas party. She was like a, I wouldn't even say a five. She was like a four. She was like a four, a five at best. Man, you're average looking at best. Shout out to Kevin Samuels. She might have been a five at best. And, a, you know, and that probably was her best because it was a, a Christmas, company Christmas party. And I'm just going to say, when I looked at her and looked at him, you know, he's fly little dude, you know, whatever, like I said, in the music game. Yeah. Yeah. Using her for the green card. And so this time he did it right. After enough time had passed and it was locked in, baked in, he divorced her. He divorced her. And when he divorced her, that's when he moved to Florida. So he basically finessed. 
he finessed the system and he did it twice <laughs> first time it didn't quite work out uh but but he, but he got to the state he got to the states the first time but i think the the wife divorced him before their uh a lot of time so it didn't stick and he had to go back second time he made it work he made it work he got him an american four and uh they got married, got the green card. He came to the States. He was working security. I worked with him and we worked together for years, right? And um, at a certain time, he divorced her. When he divorced her, he went to Florida to do his music thing. About a year after that, he sent for me to go to Florida, blah, 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 blah. Why'd I even say that? Because it's just very interesting. You know, my life is kind of weird like that, crazy like that. A lot of things coalesce. The incident that got Big Boss to travel, they gave Big Boss the travel bug. Me going to Florida, seeing my homeboy that's in the music game, me seeing him, his story was he's from the islands and he rizzed up two American chicks to bring him over. He finessed, divorced, he divorced, and then he started his own life. So I say that blah, blah, blah. It's very interesting for women to sit here and wag the finger at guys. You guys do it too. You guys do it too. You guys go to the islands and you guys get with these island boys Sometimes you simp for them and you bring them back and you get finesse. You guys do it too. So you are in no moral high ground. Big bucks, big bucks, big bucks, and you know it's real talk. Big bucks, big bucks, big bucks, and you know it's real talk. Mind your own business. Do what you do. Keep going to Jamaica. Keep going to the cruises. Keep doing what you're doing. And don't worry about us. Stop following us around. Just know we lit. Just know we lit. We ain't breaking no rules. We ain't breaking no laws. But we having fun living our best life. Mob.